Hi everybody, I'm Derek from Sony and today I'm going to show you how to get connected from your Sony Imaging Edge mobile app to your compatible Sony camera using the SSID and password option. Now just as a slight word of warning, there are three options and this is going to be a little bit more of the more tech uh, involved option. You're going to be navigating through some network connections on your phone. So feel free to stick with me, but if you feel that this is not the best option for you, check out the description below for two other videos so you can find out which way is going to be the easiest for you to get connected and take advantage of this amazing application. But to get started, make sure you download the Imaging Edge mobile app through the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Once you have it activated, go ahead and launch it. And if this is the first time that you've used it, it's gonna ask you for a couple of questions and a couple of prompts. Make sure you get through that stuff and then we'll continue on. So once you get to the option, it says in the top left, model used, we're gonna go and select models other than above because the one that I have is not listed. If you do happen to have one of those cameras, go ahead and select those and follow the prompts until you get to a screen that shows a plus icon and says camera connection and registration. Before we go any farther with the app though, we do wanna get some information from the camera first. So go ahead and turn your camera on and hit the menu button to access your menus. Some of the menus are slightly different, but in most cases you will typically see something that's labeled as network, usually signified by a green globe icon. We're gonna select that. And on my camera, I actually have two options. I have the send a smartphone option, as well as control a smartphone. Both of these are gonna be uh, features that I can use with the Imaging Edge mobile app. So I'm gonna use control with smartphone. And then we'll go to connection. Once that loads up, you'll notice that you'll see a QR code as well as some information we are going to need. Now, before we go any further, there's actually gonna be a little note on the bottom that says connect with password as well as an icon. In my case, it's actually going to be the delete key. When you press that, it's gonna give you more information that we're going to need to, in order to get set up with the SSID and password. Specifically, it's going to tell you what the SSID is as well as the password. So make sure you write these down and make sure you write them down uh, as they are, because they are going to be case sensitive and we're gonna need to use that when we go into the next step in the app. So let's switch over back to the app. So back in the app, we're going to select camera connection registration. And then we're gonna have the option in the bottom says connect using camera SSID slash password. That's what we wanna select here. So make sure you have your information ready. Go ahead and select enter SSID slash password one more time. Now there may be a pop-up box like on mine that prompts you to go to your settings, which will bring you to your Wi-Fi networks. If it doesn't prompt you to, go ahead and go into the settings of the phone and you're gonna to navigate to your Wi-Fi network so you can choose a different network. Okay, and once it loads up on your phone, and it may be a little bit different than what you see here, we're going to select add network. This is where it'll prompt you to enter your SSID. And once you enter that in, go ahead and hit next or save, depending on what your phone options are. Once you've saved that network, you'll notice that is one of the options that you can choose to connect to on your phone in your Wi-Fi network options. Go ahead and select that and it'll prompt you to enter your SSID password. Make sure you type it in correctly because it is case sensitive. And once you enter that, it'll start to connect. Once you've established that connection, you are good to go. And I can use the mobile app as my controller for my camera, which is awesome. And if you wanted to, you could have gone into the send to smartphone and you could transfer their pictures from your camera directly to your smartphone so that way you you could then share it out to the world. Now, if you want to reconnect, you don't have to go through all these steps again. All you need to do is go back into the Imaging Edge mobile app and on the page where it says camera connection registration, you'll see that your camera is listed as a previous connection. And you'll also see a start button that is highlighted in orange. Go ahead and hit that start button. And as long as your settings are still set on your camera to accept a wireless network setting, it will automatically connect, making it a lot easier. So there's a little bit of a, uh, a little bit more work in the initial setup, but it does work very well, uh, very stable. And once you reconnect again, it's actually very, very simple. But if this is a bit too much, make sure you check out the links in the description below for the other two methods as well. Make sure you find the right one that's gonna be the best for you. But if you do have any other additional questions, wanna to talk to a Sony expert like myself, there's a link also in the description below for the Sony 101 consultation program. We can help find the best Sony solution for you and your needs. I've been Derek from Sony. Thanks for watching.